In this video, we're going to demonstrate a removal of a trapped pulmonary um, swan gans catheter. And the patient has a previous minimally invasive mitral repair, and the swan gans catheter was lightly caught by the proline used to close the left atrium. That is opened uh, through the endoratrial groove, and the right atrium is very close, and frequently the swan gans catheter bows out against the wall of the right atrium. Uh, typically, uh, before leaving the operating room, you actually get the anesthesiologist to move the swan gans catheter backwards and forwards uh, to try and make sure that it wasn't uh, caught in the suture line. That's the obvious time to actually try and fix this. Uh, but in this case, uh, that had been missed. And now the question was how to get this safely removed. So what we did was we actually took the patient to the hybrid room. We had a cardiopulmonary bypass and a cardiac surgeon available. You can see in this case, we passed a um, snare catheter up into the main PA. Uh, that allowed us to grab the end of the catheter. We then basically pulled the catheter down into the inferior vena cava, straightening, uh, straightening it out. It was actually uh, caught fairly low. And so once we'd done that, um, we, it actually looked like it probably slid through the suture line a lot easier than, than we thought it was. Um, at this point, kind of we've got through and through control of it. You can see the end of the sheath, the swan sheath. And we put a through and through wire. <clears throat> Our game plan was we, we put a wire inside it and try and straighten it out as best we can. And since it didn't come out easily from above, we opted to um, take it from below. Uh, you can see we advanced the sheath right up to the point where it appeared to be tethered. And you can see uh, we had a full CV anesthesia team available with a T a transesophageal echo probe there. That. We had previously placed a nice big sheath, like a 16 French sheath in the groin. And what we opted to do at this point was cut the catheter above, below obviously the hub, and then we basically pulled it out through the groin. It wouldn't actually come out through the sheath, so we just basically moved the sheath and took it straight out uh, and brought it out through the groin. You can see there's a kink in the catheter with a little neck in it, which is where we think it, the suture actually went through it. Fortunately, the patient did well. There was no evidence that we had disrupted the suture line. We monitored the patient in the operating room for a period of time uh, and then took her back to the ICU for further monitoring. I want to show this just as one way of trying to show how, uh, in this case, obviously, we got away with this. Um, you got to be prepared to emergently open the chest if there's a problem.